Welcome back to another video lecture and here we discuss a new topic and a new subject that is related with this environment impact assessment. Okay and now we move on to the last module that is module 6 and in this module we discuss certain topics like this EIA procedure means the environmental impact assessment procedure and uh, in this case there are different stages are going through that is mentioned here screening scoping we will discuss all these things in detail okay after that we move on to the how this EIA is proceed in our country India okay then the impact analysis of some projects then checklist metrics methods then overlay analysis the different case studies of EIA okay all those these topics is we discuss in detail okay and please also check out the mark distribution for this particular module is also 20 marks like the module 5 okay then then coming to the topic why we are emphasizing this EI is very important actually if you check out this statement an environmental impact assessment study access the impact of development on the environment in a systematic holistic and multidisciplinary way the meaning is very simple if you are taking a project even if it is environmentally friendly sometimes it is environmentally friendly sometimes it is not environmentally friendly so in such cases how this project is going to happen over this throughout this procedure so how how this systematically these procedures are going on so that's the importance of this EIA so if uh, this if you follow this EIA then you can observe clearly that it would follow certain steps okay so the different stages so here it is clearly mentioned how this EIA works so in the first stage it is screening second stage it is scoping and third stage it is environmental impact as statement preparation and last one is review so please visualize if you are taking a project okay just as visualize if you are taking a project and then you are going to see the different stages first one is screen so here it is clearly mentioned that to decide which project should be subject to the environmental assessment criteria used include the threshold size of the project sensitivity of of the environment so it is clearly mentioned that to decide which project should be subject to environment assessment okay so different projects are going happening and out of these different projects which which project to be taken for this environmental assessment okay that should be decided by this assessment committee or like members and in this case the different criteria like what about the size size means how span or if if you consider the cost of this particular project how it is going to vary and how it is sensitivity to the environment all those criteria to be identified that's the first stage screening very easily you can remember the first step is screening and the second step is scoping scoping is the process which defines the key issues that should be included in the environmental assessment there are different issues okay so you have to if you are taking a project there may be some issues will be there sometimes okay so you have to identify the committee or the members to be identified what are those uh, what are those issues is to be happen to the environment okay in some times in the previous cases many early EIS were criticized because they include irrelevant information okay for the sake of the particular team or that particular project the members uh, didn't check out what are the right informations so you have to give the committee or the members have to give the right information then the third stage is environmental impact statement preparation what do you mean by that it's a scientific and objective analysis of the scale significance and the importance of impacts identified various methods have been developed to assess this task okay so it is also another procedure another stage okay 
it's a scientific and objective analysis of the scale and significant importance impacts identified okay what are those impacts is to be happened to be identified thoroughly by scientifically okay that's one of the stage then coming to the last stage a review as environmental assessments are normally produced by the project proponent it is usual for a review to be undertaken by a government agency or an independent review panel guides the study and then advises the decision makers okay there is a panel panel of members and then they will decide how it is going to be whether it is to be approved or rejected okay likewise the stages are proceeding then here you can observe the different steps involved in this eia it is clearly mentioned or for a if you are taking a project how it is going to happen okay so in the in your case if you consider a algorithm programs or if you are writing there is a flow chart or some algorithm steps is or you are going to write some c programs or likewise okay so there also some starting to end steps will be there so here also in any case in any case if you are taking there will be a start and end if you take the construction of a house there also will be the start and end okay so clear here also the starting from the project and how it is going to be finished the certain steps is already we mentioned all those steps is first of all project screening then scoping then description of the project development section description of the environment baseline identification of key impacts what are the impacts is going to happen after this project to be approved or if it is going to be happened then prediction of impacts evaluation and assessment of significance of impacts all those steps is then decision making post decision mentoring audit of predictions and mitigation measures all those steps is already we discussed then some more details in the screening and the scoping we will discuss so please uh, listen very carefully in this case of screening if you observe the number of projects that could be subject to ea is potentially very large there are maybe different people are producing uh, have different thoughts and they will give uh, apply for different projects okay the people have or the authority have the right to whether it to be approved or rejected okay so a lot of projects will be there and it, many projects have no substantial significant environmental impact sometimes the projects are very environmentally friendly okay so there is no impact actually happened to this environment so such projects are very good good means in the sense there is no harm to the environment so screening mechanism seeks to focus on those projects with the potentially significant adverse environmental impacts or whose impacts are not fully known those with few or no impacts are screened out and allowed to proceed to the normal planning permission and administrative process without any additional assessments or additional loss of time and expense okay the meaning is that if you have a project and it is very convenient or environmentally friendly then you can, you, you may please allow and to the next next stage means it should not if you the if some members or if some people are approaching for, uh, with the, some projects it should not you should not waste their time okay and also expense if you are lagging those projects the people people are spending lot of money in that particular project then this time and expense are very important so without any loss of time please carry over that projects okay in general there are two main approaches to screening there are two approaches the use of thresholds involves placing projects in categories and setting thresholds for each project type some threshold measurements are to be provided okay and here you can observe some lay for example to project at char characters and 20 hectare and over to anticipate project impacts 50000 tons likewise and the second one is case by case of two approaches are mentioned first one is threshold and the second one is case by case and what are those advantages for using this uh, threshold and case by case and also the disadvantage is also mentioned here or it is clearly mentioned how they it works us. okay this screening works us in two approaches first one is threshold approach and the second one is case by case approach please go through those advantages and disadvantages also then next we 
move on to the scoping already we discussed the scoping the scope of an eia is the impact and the issues it addresses okay the scope means the final scope it is going to be what are those impact it is going to happen and even if that impact is going to happen or some issues are there then how it is going to be addressed okay we can't reject some projects okay it is not very easy to there are there may be some issues so we have to provide some solutions then only it will be move very smoothly the process of scoping is that of deciding from all of a project's possible impacts and from all the alternatives that could be addressed which are significant ones okay if you taking a project what are those issues are going to be happened and there you have to identify how it can be recognized and how it can be solved out and then move on, then proceed to the next stage an initial scoping of possible impacts may identify those impacts thought to be potentially significant those thought to be not significant and those whose significance is unclear okay then moving on to the next stage that is scoping is generally carried out in discussions between the developer competent authority and other relevant agency and the ideally the public okay please go through this different procedures okay and here you can the different discussions okay these committees can discuss those things okay here should begin with the identification individual communities local authority and statutory consultants like to be affected by the project okay this if you are construct if you are giving that project some issues already mentioned some issues going to be happen okay then you have to identify Uh, what are those impacts going to be happen, and how can we recognize, and how can you solve out? The discussion can include the following issues. Particularly, what are those discussions to be happened? Particularly, valued environmental attributes. Those impacts considered of particular concern to the affected parties. The methodology that should be used to predict and evaluate different impacts. The scale at those impacts should be considered. Broad alternatives that might be considered. So. actually if some projects have some issues okay that's that to be solved out so first of all you have to have a common platform discussions how can you recognize and how can you solve out and the, throughout that discussions you can discuss those points as already we mentioned so these are the different stages of this eia and in the next lesson we discuss the how this eia or the eia procedure in our country india how it is going to be happen okay so with this we wind up today's session thank you